Blue Brown makes a tactical error. He hesitates and loses the element of surprise. Now their only hope is to run him to ground. An Oviraptor's bone-crunching beak ends Blue Brow's hunt and the pack's chance for a meal. Humbled, Blue Brow is the first to leave. Not a good showing. Mongolia. 80 million years ago. For predators, it was a very good year. You had velociraptors. Three kinds of oviraptors. And little shivuya, just to name a few species. But the numbers just don't add up. The species of predators outnumber the species of prey. In a typical ecosystem, there are more prey than predators. But in prehistoric Mongolia, the ecosystem was a predator's paradise. Undoubtedly, the most bizarre were the oviraptors. It's hard to tell the front of the skull from the back, especially since they had no teeth. Instead, there's a strong bird-like beak. Yet oviraptors had the trademark claws of a carnivore. So what did they eat? When the first oviraptor was discovered in 1923, it was lying on a clutch of eggs thought to belong to protoceratops. Scientists dubbed the new species oviraptor, or egg thief. But the eggs recently were found to be oviraptor eggs. The alleged thief was actually a nurturing parent. Perhaps oviraptor hunted a smorgasbord of small animals. Or maybe, as its ancestors lost their teeth, it became a switch hitter, an omnivore, consuming both plants and meat, and perhaps eggs too. When it comes to dinosaur behavior, we usually have to rely on our best guess, and those ideas will change as we make new discoveries. Deserts are unforgiving. Life clings to the slimmest of margins. When it comes to survival, it's catch as catch can, and anything is fair game. As dusk settles, White Tip is in her nest, tending her eggs. She hasn't eaten for days. A small delta theridium gets her attention. Its movement is irresistible. It triggers the instinct to hunt, leaving her eggs vulnerable. Big mistake. The intruder is broken hand, just trying to stay alive. White Tip's clutch is reduced to three eggs. The loss is a setback, but at least it's not a disaster for the mom-to-be.